So what is Rick Simpson oil? If you search for cannabis oils online, you most likely come across RSO, AKA FICO. And today I'm breaking down exactly what it is and why it's so very special. So RSO um, is actually Rick Simpson oil and it's also known as FICO or full extract cannabis oil. And it's named after a Canadian. He's a cannabis act advocate. His name is Rick Simpson and he developed it for his own health conditions, which was skin cancer, okay? And it works super awesome for that. And then he helped uh, supposedly a bunch of other people overcome cancer and other conditions before he moved from Canada. And the terms RSO and FICO are sometimes used interchangeably, though FICO can stand for a variety of solvents too, not just ethanol. So it could be like CO2 or BHO, et cetera. So it's one of those things where um, all RSO is FICO, like it's a full extract cannabis oil, but not all FICO is RSO. So just so you know, when we talk about FICO over here at MyFitLife, we're talking about ethanol extracted FICO and not CO2 or BHO because they're inferior solvents. Okay, so I just wanted to explain that. Okay, so the physical characteristics, um, the appearance, it's a thick, gooey, black looking oil. Okay, the consistency, it's almost tar-like and it's very dense and sticky. And you can see the color, it looks almost black, but it's actually dark green, okay? And then how is RSO made? It's a simple whole plant extraction using a variety of solvents. And the way we do it over here at MyFitLife, we use a 100% organic, 200 proof food grade ethanol. Like all those words matter, 100% organic, 200 proof means it's pure ethanol, nothing else in there, and it's food grade, meaning you could actually drink the solvent and you know nothing will happen to you except you might get drunk, okay? And uh, other traditional methods use naphtha or isopropyl alcohol or commercial ethanol, which isn't like nearly as good as a 100% organic 200 proof food grade ethanol, okay? And the process, the cannabis buds are what they call washed with the solvent, and then the solvent is evaporated and then filtered, you know, the, all, the, all the plant material is filtered out as well, and then you come up with this sticky tar-like substance, okay? And it's super, super awesome. And by the way, this is over four pounds of RSO right here. It's about 2,000 grams, which is two million milligrams, all right? So it's a ton of RSO in that, in that half-gallon bottle. So how RSO is made, the extraction process. The, uh, the key point is that the ethanol extraction ensures all beneficial components of the cannabis plant, that, that they're all, all those components are present and intact in the final product so they can be utilized for good in your body. In other words, the components aren't like burned and destroyed in the process. And it's a very delicate process, right? So the result of all of it is a highly concentrated potent oil with proven therapeutic benefits. So what makes RSO special? And it's an extremely high cannabinoid concentration, regularly producing 65 to 70% or more of THC and 75 to 80% or more in total active cannabinoids. And that's actually the perfect ratio, like 75 to 70% of the THC and then having like about 10% or, or so more of other cannabinoids because that leaves, you know, 75 to 80%. So that leaves about 20 to 25% for the terpenes and isoflavones and flavonoids and other phytonutrients to be there, right? If it was more like a 90%, you know, THC and almost a uh, like 99% like cannabinoids, then you wouldn't have room for the terpenes and flavonoids and isoflavones and the other beneficial uh, phytonutrients that are in the plant, right? And that, that's why the RSO extraction is uh, so super awesome. So um, the full spectrum extract contains all the beneficial plant compounds, the full cannabinoid profile, and like we just mentioned, the essential terpenes, flavonoids, isoflavones, and other phytonutrients, including chlorophyll, omega-3 fatty acids, omega-6 fatty acids. There's a, a bunch of nutrition inside of that plant. So what makes RSO special? I mean, it's the uh, um, extraction, it maintains plant integrity. So all the components remain intact and present when it's done right. 
and this gives the RSO maximum benefit. You know, the ethanol pulls more nutrients from the cannabis plant than any other solvent because it has what's known as a dual polarity. It pulls both polar and nonpolar constituents from the plant. And the other um, solvents do not do that, like the CO2 and the BHO, the butane, they do not do that. They have a single polarity, whereas the ethanol has a dual polarity, so it pulls more nutrition, and that's why it works better than the other um, oils that are extracted with the other solvents, including the um, CO2 and the BHO or butane, okay? The, so what the entourage effect, um, you hear about that a lot, but let me well, explain sort of what that is because most people think of it as all the cannabinoids working together, you know, synergistically to produce a beneficial effect. And that does happen, but that's only one aspect of the entourage effect, okay? The key concept with it is it's a holistic process where all essential plant nutrients work together synergistically to produce a beneficial effect. So not just the cannabinoids, but the cannabinoids, plus the terpenes, the isoflavones, the flavonoids, the chlorophyll, and all the other compounds, they work together to produce an enhanced therapeutic benefit, okay? And that's what makes RSO so very super awesome. So some key points of the entourage effect is the whole plant extraction process boosts RSO's therapeutic potential, like way above anything else in, in the plant kingdom, basically. And um, it's more powerful than isolated compounds alone. So you have like pure uh, THC or pure crystalline CBD products, and the RSO like just blows those away. That having the full cannabinoid profile, plus all the other nutrients, the flavonoids, isoflavones, et cetera, um, just that combination makes it so much more um, therapeutically beneficial. So in, uh, for instance, like I went blind from glaucoma and got my vision back with cannabis oils, right? If I take like a pure CBD or a pure THC or even a CO2 extracted um, full extract cannabis oil or a BHO, a butane extracted full extract cannabis oil, I'll go blind off of all of those. It has to be the full extraction from the ethanol, you know, the RSO extraction process, in other words, you know, any other extraction, I, I go blind off of it for whatever reason. This works because of the full nutrition profile that's pulled from the plant, okay? And it makes it more powerful than those isolated compounds like we just mentioned, and it produces a beneficial result through the synergistic action, all those nutrients working together. You know, it needs all of that. So how is RSO administered? How do people take it in? The most popular way is through oral consumption. The way we do it over here is smaller doses throughout the day, you know, so you get like a good flow throughout the day as opposed to taking one or two big doses. Um, people also uh, take it through suppository, you know, taken rectally, rectally, but uh, that to me that's sort of hit and miss. Like it works for some people, and it doesn't work for others, like sort of like a 50-50 kind of a thing. And I, I don't like to take that, that kind of a risk. So um, the oral consumption, um, we, we just uh, work on that mainly over here. And we do it through capsules and tinctures as well. So you can get uh, better absorption because there's a carrier oil that helps to carry it into the body. And you also get exact measured doses that way because the tincture you could give an exact dose and the capsules you could definitely give an exact measured dose, okay? The other ways to take the RSO is through a uh, topical application, and that's how you uh, take care of uh, skin cancer, basically. Like, you just put it directly onto the skin cancer, put a little bandage over it, and um, just go through a process, you know, leave it there for 24 hours or so, then remove it and replace it, and just go through that. And it usually ha um, ha happens very quickly, the, the, the beneficial results. So a topical application, oral consumption, suppository, and then food addition. So mixing it into edibles and then uh, actually into like meals themselves. And that's not usually used necessarily for, um, you know, overcoming chronic conditions, you know, put, put in the RSO in food or edibles. It's more so for the relaxation aspects of the cannabis oils. Okay. I just wanted to get that clear. Like, I, like you wouldn't, 
you, you know, have all of your RSO and, and edibles if you're trying to battle cancer because there's so much of it. You would just take it, you know, orally through capsule tincture or through the raw oil. Okay. So current research status and clinical perspectives. So the preliminary research shows promise for pain relief, inflammation reduction, chronic illness management, and complementary cancer therapy. You know, so for the, for the you know for, for the medical establishment, they, they they're trying to use it alongside things like chemotherapy and radiation and things like that. You know, over here we do both. We help people that want to do you know the medical stuff. They, they um, do the RSO, we help them with that. And then there's a bunch of other people that they don't want to go the allopathic route and get burned by radiation or get poisoned by chemotherapy. And they just want to do all natural and we help out with that as well. You know, so, so either way, and we've seen success both ways, you know, it, it's, it's really cool. So um, specific clinical, clinical trials, uh, like there's been over 10,000 clinical trials for RSO and um, they're mainly being tested uh, for cancer. And um, with that, there's like a variety of uh, um, symptoms that they're uh, trying to treat and, and, and uh, situations that they're trying to treat like tumor shrinkage, um, symptom management and mesothelioma trials. And mesothelioma is basically like a, a, a lung cancer, but um, where it's, it's, it affects the cavity that your lungs are in, and oftentimes it'll start filling up with fluids, and you have to have the fluids drained and all kind of stuff. So RSO is uh, showing promise with, with relieving that in clinical trials, and then also with metastatic disease treatment. And metastatic disease treatment is basically when the um, cancer spreads, like, like like breast cancer will spread to the lungs or to the liver or something like that. And that, that, that's, that's when it, they say it metastasizes and it's having promise for that as well. So um, basically the early results are showing promise in all of the areas that they're researching for. It's really, really cool. Like I said, they've done over 10,000 clinical trials and they say they've found like, um, I believe it was like 75% success success rate, which is unheard of. Like, like, like 51% is awesome. It, with for clinical trials of a success rate so having 75 percent is crazy and that's not just with one clinical trial that's gathering all 10,000 plus clinical trials they had ai do that and and then formulate what the success rate was you know you, you know with all of them combined and it was 75 percent for over 10,000 studies that's crazy that's crazy awesome right so um the popular use and anecdotal evidence, like what's it used for and, uh, you know, and advocated for. Uh, the biggest thing is cancer, you know, like, um, like 90% or more of the people that come to see me um, are seeing me for cancer or cancer related symptoms. And some of those symptoms are pain and inflammation. The people also use it for chronic pain, inflammation, and, and a number of other things. Um, many users find benefit for various chronic conditions, like a, a whole slew of them. You know, you, you see it online, like epilepsy, all, all kinds of different things. And, it's, and, and, it, and it helps because it just helps to balance the other systems in your body. You have an endocannabinoid system inside your body that balances all the other systems in your body. So um, it, that's why it helps so many different things. And it remains popular among cannabis activists and the medical cannabis community. And RSO is regarded as one of the most potent full-spectrum cannabis extracts available. Super, super cool. And why is RSO considered superior? Um, there's a few different reasons that we've covered. The whole plant approach, you know, which captures com the complete cannabinoid and terpene profile, plus all the other phytonutrients as well. The high potency the RSO is among the most concentrated cannabis extracts available. And it, for whatever reason, it blasts people, you know, like it gets people high. It helps the people to heal, but, but you know, it has a high potency of cannabinoids and, and, and it's super potent. The full spectrum benefits through the entourage effect are amazing. And no other um, extraction process provides that, you know, because no, of the, the, the dual polarity of the ethanol extraction. So um, like, like the CO2 extractions and the 
DHO extractions do not have as much nutrition in them as the full spectrum RSO extraction. Okay. And um, when done right, you know, if you're extracting right under the right, you know, temperatures and et cetera, then you maintain the plant integrity so nothing beneficial is lost in the extraction, right? And that's what I concentrate on fully over here because my eyesight depends on it, right? So in closing, RSO represents the full power of the cannabis plant in a highly concentrated form. The whole plant extraction approach maximizes therapeutic potential through the entourage effect. Remember, everything working synergistically together, right? And while research is ongoing, the early clinical results and extensive anecdotal evidence show great promise. And remember, they try to say that there's not that much research being done, but over 10,000 um, studies, that's one of the most studied uh, uh, plant substances, you know, period, right? So the key takeaway with all this is that the combination of the high potency of the cannabinoids, the full spectrum of all the other plant nutrients, the isoflavones, flavonoids, et cetera, and the whole plant nutrition, you know, the chlorophyll, the omega-3 fatty acids, the omega-6 fatty acids, everything that's contained in the cannabis plant that's pulled from the, you know, with the ethanol to make the RSO, that, that's what makes it so unique and so very, very special and why we love it so much over here at My Fit Life. You know, not to mention the fact that I could see, you know, and get, you know, drive on the roads and stuff like that because of RSO. And that's why I love it so much. So um, if you enjoy this uh, video and you would like a copy of this PDF, it's available um, on our uh, free group. It's called Cannabis All Secrets. You can go to school.com forward slash FICO. The link is in the description. It's also in the comments. Uh, it's pinned in the comments, so you can find it there. And the group is free to join, and you can find um, the this video and the PDF in that group and a number of other videos and PDFs as well and some protocols for cancer and other conditions um, um, like protocols on how to use the RSO to overcome these conditions. You know, it's not guaranteed, but like a majority of people do have success, uh, you know, like not, you know, we can't say that everybody has success, but, but, but we do have a good amount of people that have success uh, through the years. And like we said, um, in the clinical trials, with over 10,000 clinical trials, over 75% uh, success rate. So that's super, super awesome. And if you want to uh, talk to me, if you, if you have any questions, personal questions that aren't answered inside of the group, you're also welcome to schedule a call, a free complimentary consultation. This is Al Morenton with MyFitLife. I hope you have a beautiful day. Peace.